Hey everybody, welcome back, and I may be crazy, but I'm close to 70 subscribers, and I just wanted to do something insane, so this is going to be my first time ever solo camping alone, and it's actually in a blizzard that's going to be below zero, so um, I'll show you the setup. This is in the daytime. The next time I'll see you is going to be dark. I mean, I'm going to come out and sleep here, but <laughs> it's kind of insane. But show you my setup before it starts because I won't be able to show you much then but I just got a blanket here extra if I need so I'll put it on here which I'll show you in a minute just got my water for boiling just a couple of magazines to do something an extra coat back there an extra propane cylinder which you'll see in a minute what it's for and then I got scrambled eggs and bacon dehydrated mountain house and then rice and chicken dehydrated and then I also got a, I just got my knife, and I got a, a little buddy heater I just bought yesterday. I saved up for it, and uh, I'm very happy about that, because that's going to keep me warm. I don't have it on yet, because I only have two propane cylinders, so that's all for now. I'll show you outside, though, because holy cow, I can't feel my toes. And I just got a Coke up there, and my, my spoons and my spork, and then I got some snacks got my very bright light up here and then the rest is just floor space and I got a chair a chair slash bag right now I'm on a an air mattress a twin pretty thick and then on top of that I, I'm not sure what this one's called but I got a Coleman sleeping bag I got for Christmas so that's my setup <laughs> and uh, I got this tent it was a black friday exclusive and it was a leftover so <laughs> that's what i'll be using but i'm hoping i'm depending on that guy to keep me warm there's a window there but there's a window there i'm gonna have that window open all night and i'll have the heater up here and i'll have it blowing that way so give me a second i'll get outside and stand up and everything and then i will show you the blizzard that i'm in Hey everybody, I'm outside of the tent, and look at this. This is actually in my yard, because this is my first time ever camping, but my house is right way over there, so. It's the same being here as it would all the way back in the woods. It's the same temperature and same snow, so. I'm gonna go inside, eat lunch, and then I'll see you when it's dark out. Hey everybody, going in my tent right now, it's about let me be exact. Hold on one second. It is... 5.14 and I'm just getting to my tent. So, I'm gonna get in there. It's still snowing hard and it's below zero wind chill right now. And I'm gonna set up the time-lapse camera on me overnight. Starting now though while I'm cooking and everything. And, uh, I'm gonna go in there and I'll see you next time I start filming. Hey everybody, I don't know if I'm running this right, but there's the little buddy. It's not doing much, but I don't know how you guys can see. Come here. Come on, let me pull the light down. There, let's see. Give you a tour. There's my... The uh, stop motion, the time lapse. I got my cooker back there and my heater. And, uh, got a pot. Pots over there. Everything I showed you is in this corner. There's the blanket. Here's my sleeping bag. But yeah, so far I'm, I'm still I'm freezing, and the time. Is hold on a second, guys. The time is 5:41. I don't know why it cut off there. I think it it was an auto command that did. So yeah, you guys can't really see anything. Really can't. As far as I'm seeing on here, you can't see. I'm gonna try to change it right now as you're on camera. 
on. Hey guys, sorry it cut off there. Um, I'm just gonna keep updating you overnight. I guess I. It's freezing out here. I don't know if you can see, but there's ice on the inside of the tent all the way through it. Oh, here's my breath. Oh, it's so cold in here, guys. This heater, I don't know how to properly ventilate it, ventilate it, but right there, see the top of the tent is what you guys can see. Right below it, I have the vent open right now on the tent, and you can't, you can't even see that, guys. Hold on. Over there, you can see there's that corner. I have that open, too. I'm going to have to shut that one. I can't. It's so cold. So. Bye. I'll update you when I'm cooking or something. And I'll see you then. Hey guys, um, I know you can't see, but I'm gonna go to bed. I didn't cook anything, it's just too cold to even go outside, so. It's like negative 20 wind chill. <clears throat> um, I shut the heater off. It started to really, like, gas me out of here, so. Um, time, you guys can't even see anything, it's just dark. 9.32. Right now, what is that? Nine twenty two. It's nine twenty two right now. So um I might have to get out of here, I'm not sure. But if if not I'll see you in the morning. Hey everybody. Um it was a horrible night last night. I couldn't even sleep really, honestly. I probably only slept like, man, three hours. And basically, I had to turn the heater off. Well, I stayed up until 2 o'clock last night. I couldn't go to sleep. It was just so cold and frigid. Look at the snow up there. It stayed on. <laughs> My socks got wet. I had to take them off. And, uh, the heater, I had the vent up there in that corner open, and the vent in that corner open, and basically, I couldn't even, I couldn't have the heater on because they froze over, meaning the carbon dioxide would have stayed in here and just got lower and lower until it killed me, so, I had to turn the heater off real early, and... I got my sleeping bag and tried to go to bed. I actually, I just, I had to run in the house a second ago and get a warm shirt so I could come out and update you guys, but it was terrible out here last night. I couldn't even sleep. No animals or anything, it's just the snow. I mean, look at that. But, yeah, I just, I just went in because I almost got hypothermia. I had to go inside and I got changed and took a warm shower. But holy cow, last night in here, it was terrible. I couldn't even sleep. But I had my breakfast and my dinner last night, so. I actually ate my breakfast a little earlier than I should have because I, I didn't eat much of the rice and chicken, so. Yeah, I thought I'd update you guys because I think the last time you seen me last night, I'm not sure what time it was, but it was pretty early in the night, so I kind of didn't even film after that because I tried filming then and it was dark in here, so I couldn't even, you couldn't see anything. I just figured there was no point. I did a time lapse, but the camera actually died because the battery was low and it was cold out, so it shut the camera off. Because that's my cheaper camera, but 
it got into the night and I had my heater on and you might be able to even see in the time lapse I had to shut it off so I'm not sure how far it went I know it went for a couple of hours but yeah if I update you I'm never doing this again in the snow like this cuz I guess last night the wind chill was negative 20 below I couldn't take it cuz even in the sleeping bag like it's freezing. The inside's freezing. It would take an hour just to warm it up with your body. So I, I didn't even bother with that. Um, I actually cooked the water inside on that Sterno stove with a can of Sterno. And that actually worked pretty good. I just used the lid off my pot, put that down, put the Sterno stove on top of that, put the Sterno can in there, lit that, and then put the pot on top. And that actually worked good for boiling water. Um, there's my water I was drinking. I don't know if you can see. Well, you can't see. But down there, I had a, a bottle of water that rolled all the way down. It froze completely solid. So, I, <laughs> I don't know how I lasted so long out here, but... I mean, I was really up because I was too afraid to go to bed because I probably would have just froze to death honestly and up here I don't know if you can see but this listen that's all ice see the ice that just shaved off the tent watch see that it's all over the tent top so you're gonna see me I'm gonna have to pack all this up because this storm is not leaving anytime soon I don't want to damage my tent so, I'll do more camping videos, but I figured I'd do something a little bit more extreme for, because I'm really close to 70 subscribers, and uh, I'm happy about that, so. I know this is a little off than what I usually do. I mean, I've been doing uh, trapping, but that's, it's slowed down. I mean, this blizzard, it's just, there's, there's no time for it. But, I'm going to be doing vlogs soon and everything, outdoor vlogs, but. Honestly, I do not know what to do. It's just, the snow is terrible. Hold on. Let me get you a look outside my window. I think it's still snowed and froze over, but you might be able to see a little bit. See out there, you can look on that tree. There's snow out on that tree by here. It's covered in snow. If you look down there, see all that snow? I even shoveled where you just saw out there, and I couldn't even keep it, keep it dry. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this. Um, I'm going to show you my new, like, editing slash filming studio for when I get, uh, new stuff. I'll take you in, I'll do, or I'll just, I'll show you what I did there. But, uh, man... I'm not doing this again in this cold weather. I'll do it definitely in the spring and summer. And maybe even fall, but... I can't even take it in this cold. There's no way. But that heater... I honestly don't even recommend that heater. That little buddy. I really don't recommend it. It's not a good, it's not a good heater. You have to have so much ventilation just to have it. And they even... They even say on the box that you have to have a 2 by 2 inch opening like you put the tops that did not cut it guys I know the carbon dioxide wouldn't have killed me if I had it like that I actually had to have that open at the top and all the way down there I had that whole top part of the window that was actually open the whole thing when I had the heater on because the heater the carbon dioxide got up but the, the fumes from it I couldn't take it I couldn't even yeah, sorry it messed up right there. Um, you're going to see this directly right after that part. But, um, the SD card messed up. I put it back in. It works now. But. Yeah, the heater, though, it just... There's no ventilation with it. I mean, in this cold weather, it actually started to melt that up there. That's why some of that's kind of caked. See how that little bit's there? I had the heater under that, and the fumes, they go straight up 
into the roof because this heater actually it points upwards I have no clue how they come up with that design but it points directly up and you know you think it would be like oh you know it's just gonna that is exactly what I thought is this case but oh it's just you know it's gonna come out it's gonna go everywhere it's actually a direct beam of heat that goes right up the top and <laughs> it wasn't really good but <laughs> Yeah, I just, I don't recommend that. It, I mean, if you have, like, it shows in the box on some parts of it. You know, someone has a duck blind or a, you know, like a deer stand. I can definitely see that, but how they advertise it that it can go in a tent also, that's not a correct thing, honestly. The fumes from it aren't good. I mean, just to have that whole window open, you're just, you're taking all the heat out. It's just not even worth it, so. But... I'm going to get everything packed up, like I said, a little bit ago, and I'm going to show you it when it's back up on my shelf. Okay, everybody, quick update. Everything's on the shelf, and just want to let you know I'm in, everything's done. Well, you're going to be seeing the video, so. <laughs> but thanks for watching, and then I'll show you in here in my next video.